Know your role, Capone. Know your role. And that's right, I am the seventh time electrified champion. I am Rick the Rock. You on my YouTube channel doing a video for myself. None of you jabronis. But I do urge you, I do tell you to come in below, share, and check out every single one of my great videos. Because none of you jabronis appreciate me, but if you do, then let me know by checking out that description and smashing that bell to on every single one of my great notifications. You Rudy Poo candy asses will go and view and like WWE World with the Lines on Facebook and follow me on Instagram at Rick the Rock Pit 30. And if you insects would like some sort of shout out, then get a liking and so because I am the Electrified Champion and I do these videos, or I used to do these videos for all of you, but now they're all for me, because none of you losers appreciate me, but this is something different, this is the 205 Live Raw and NXT review, so on 205 Live Akira Tozawa beat Drew Gulak in singles action. That loser Drew Gulak is a champion like me. Uh, so not much to be said there. In another single match, Rich Swan to beat another goddamn loser, the Fight Brain Kendrick. So yeah, good win for Rich Swan here. So he's and he's getting some sort of push. In your main event on the Purple Band, in a, in a fresh match, in a fatal the Fright Night fatal following match, Mustafa Ali beat three losers. Tony Nese, from Matalik and Harry Devaris, so it's a much easier win for him here and at the Barry Series for the Cruiserweight Championship, it will be two losers, it will be Enzo Mori versus Felico for the Cruiserweight title, so like I said, that match is going to get me, so I give 205 Live, well who cares what I give it, no one cares, on Monday Night Raw, Kurt Angle's in the ring talking. All the stars were on the stage. Stephanie, my man, returned and came out talking. It's great to see to bring my man back. And Kurt Angle will be the team captain for Team Raw at the moment. That means, that means Kurt Angle will wrestle again. Uh, I do think they should have said it just for Survivor Series and really not should have had him wrestle at TLC. But I suppose WWE we a fucking tough spot. That the crappy show Tilt Tall Bells is back on this Wednesday, so that's good. That bitch Alicia Fox came out talking. She was meant to face a loser called Bailey, but instead that now you jacked with face Bailey returned and face Bailey and beat Bailey. So good to see now you jacks back and now jacks will be on the team team's Raw women's team at Survivor Series number on November 19th. Next year in January, Raw, Raw will celebrate the 25th anniversary. That's huge. Raw has been going 25 years. <coughs> Excuse me. Some more Joe returned return and came out talking and said, just like I'm saying, you don't care about any person. And in a fresh match, he beat some idiot Apollo Crews. In your next match, the awesome one, the Miz, a champion just like me, beat the delightful Matt Hardy and is still the Intercontinental Champion. So yeah, big win for Matt Hardy here, obviously, and that was a good match. In your next match, uh, uh, um, so before that, that big win monster Kane choke slammed Daniel Bryan backstage. So this was quite shocking. In your next match, in the fresh match, Asuka be an absolute jobber, an absolute mule, a loser, called Stacey Cullen. Not really much to be said there. In your next match, Finn Balor beat the Swiss Superman Cesaro. This was a good match. And yeah, going for Finn here. And then Kane came out and chokeslammed, chokeslammed uh, Finn 
onto the stage, oh, sorry, Tombstone Finn onto the stage, so that was funny. In your next match of the evening, the Big One Monster Kane be one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions of Tommy and Just Like Me, set one half of the Shield, Seth Rollins. So yeah, going for Kane. Kane will be losing to getting a push. Uh, if you push Kane, then why not? And then Kane, both two of them, two them both, both members of the Shit Shield, uh, Dean Ambrose and Treff Rollins. Should I say Seth Rollins? In your next match, in the fresh match, Rhino needs to later beat the club to look down on the Collanders in Anderson in a trick or a street fight. This was the fresh match here. Much easier win for Rhino he's later, but just a silly, stupid, horrible gimmick match. Elias was in the ring talking in it. He's an absolute he's an ab absolute crappy singer. Uh, and Jason Jordan came out and smashed that guitar over his head. He should have killed him. Enzo Amore, that idiot, came out talking. Uh, and then in the first match, Kalisto beat that other idiot, Drew Gulak. And then Enzo attacked Kalisto. Obviously, it happens up there, match for us about series on the WWE Network. Then in your main event of the evening, the, go the goddess of, w of WWE, Alexa Bliss, beat Mickey James. And he's still the Raw when you chummy in the chummy in just like I am. Um, so yeah, obviously going for Alexa there, build a little bit of her heading into SS Survivor Series, and then uh, the Miz and the Miz Raj was backstage. Braun Strowman returned, and he beat up the Miz and Miz Raj. Going to end Raw. Then on NXT, the green brand, or should I say the yellow brand? Uh, in a fresh match, in a women's match, Nikki Cross beat Tanara Conte. So yeah, good to see Tanara Conte getting used. And Nikki Cross does seem to be getting some sort of goddamn push. Fab in your next match, in a fresh match, Fabian Aikner or Achner beat Gonnet Johnny Grano. So a huge win, a big win for Fabian here. Uh, if he starts getting a push, he starts getting used, then why not? It was a contract signing, and with Drew McIntyre and Andre Sheehan Amos, and Andre beat up Drew, so it's perhaps up there, this despicable match, heading in to take over War Games. The author of Pain beat Sanitio by DQ, but and it's Sanitio is still NXC Tag Team Champions. Then Will Regal came out talking in at NXT TakeOver, War Games, it will be Sanity versus the Undisputed Era versus Rogers Strong and also the Pain in a War Games match. That would be good to see the War Games match back. In your next match, in a fresh match, Heaven Mission will be two jobbers. Not much we said here. And your main event on the yellow brand, Kyra Sane beat Payne Royce in a fresh match. So yeah, I would say a good win for her. But the for her heading into NXT take over War Games. Well, I gave all two or gave two or five live Raw and NXT a big <laughs> five John Cena Golden Troubles out of ten. Like I said, fucking like and subscribe. Unless you want them to be rock bottomed and the me to drop that people's elbow on your Rudy Poo candy ass. Then share this all over Twitter, all over the internet. Tell everyone you know, spread the word, get your voice heard, tell the millions, tell the tell 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 the universe, tell the world. Because I'm doing this for myself. If you smell what the greatest electrified champion of all time is cooking.